السلام عليكم ورحمة الله لك تبير The section is a lot like teeth on the Cape Flats. There's gaps right here in the middle of the... <laughs> And I notice also, uncle, there's white people here also. <laughs> Usually when there's so many Indians, the white folks, they're hiding. <laughs> Shh. Don't make eye contact. <laughs> they may try and sell us something. Are these questions too difficult? <laughs> What's your name, Uncle? Yasin. Okay, mashallah. Uncle, what I want you to do, just to inject some enthusiasm into the crowd, okay? When I go like this, I want you to stand up on your chair, rip your shirt off, <laughs> and then go, Whoa! But remember, this is a Muslim show, so when you rub your shirt off from the navel upwards, <laughs> okay, like and then you go, oh, and hopefully that'll cause a ripple effect, sending a cascade of enthusiasm across the room, from person to person, until everyone in here is filled with joy and happiness. Do we want him to do this, people? Yeah. You're a superstar, brother. Let's go. Oh. It's going no. Thanks for that. You know, I, I appreciate the applause that I got, you know, just once. I'd love to get applause like Madiba gets, you know, because people love Madiba on his birthday. Everyone was wishing Madiba a happy birthday. I was even watching Yo! TV, which is a kid's television program. And they were like, okay, guys, it's Madiba's birthday today. So we want to wish Madiba a very happy birthday from all of us here at Yo! TV. Okay. And I'm like, who is that message for? I mean, surely they don't think Madiba is going, Grasha, where is the remote? <laughs> it's time for Teletubbies. <laughs> but I actually went to the Nelson Mandela Cup rugby match at Ellis Park, where we thrashed Australia, and I have never, ever been to the rugby before, people. And it was very scary for me, very scary, because I've never, ever seen such huge white folks in my life. I mean, sitting next to me, legs as thick as me. Blonde hair coming out of every orifice. They were breathing. And the husband was even worse. And I was watching this game, and I was seeing the white people kill each other on the field. And I was thinking to myself, that's why you really see an Indian rugby player. <laughs> We're not that stupid. <laughs> I think the only time you're going to see an Indian with a rugby ball, he's putting a price on it. <laughs> that's it, people.